Well, John the Voice would know. But Christoph ask Courtney or ask John the Voice. Christophe would not know. He lives in France. And I'd like to speak to Christophe, my friend. Can we speak to him, bump him up a little, because he's calling from a, a foreign Absolutely. country? Christophe, welcome to the show, my friend. Oh, hello, Kolba, the Rican Pretty Sarah. Hey, hello. you know what happened, Christophe, just now? I don't understand. I'm sorry? Do you know what happened just now? I, I don't understand. You don't understand its English. I'll say it slowly. Do you... The sound, the sound, the sound of the phone is terrible. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I You're apologize. Sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you don't understand what I'm saying? No. Okay. Well, you understood I, that. I won't talk. You talk. I'll listen. Shh, quiet. Action. Uh, um, I hope you are well today, Uncle Bob. I am well, thank oh, you. Well, thank you for asking. Yeah. I feel like I'm in my uh, early uh, to mid 40s. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see you one more uh, in this show that I don't want to miss, Uncle Bob. For me, uh, you are the appointment in the week. Oh, you're great. Thank you for that. That's so kind. And I appreciate it, too, because, you know, the concept of this show is it's yours. It's yours, Christophe. You're in France, and I'm in. Uh, here in, uh, where am I? We're in uh, sunny Southern California. Sunny Southern California. And the way we get to talk every week is just, I think, marvelous. Yeah. Oh, it's a pleasure for me. It's my pleasure, too. Anything uh, else, Christoph? Oh, you got some questions. Okay, Christoph, hang in there. We're going to take a brief station break. We have to pay for the show, and we'll be back in a moment. That's right. We'll be back right after this market for that frank didn't go away you know so on and so forth all right so now where are we is it your turn i think i'm done Uh, oh christoph 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 what's going on christoph oh uncle bob if you allow me i have to pay a trick question about your friend uh, the producer stephen cannell please go ahead christoph okay first uh, in your career you participated in several productions of stephen cannell um, uh, as for example black sheep's present Uh, can you tell us how you met him, and uh, when was your friendship with this great man of uh, American television? Oh, he he was... Uh, I'm glad you appreciate his extraordinary talent. He uh, was uh, a writer under contract to Universal Studios, and he started at the lowest level, like we all did, and then he graduated from his writing to becoming the probably most prolific writer under contract to the studio, and he... Uh, wrote this uh, thing, the Black Sheep Squadron, and he interviewed me when Colonel Boyington, who was uh, the person it was written about, was uh, there for the interview. And then um, I went outside to wait, and they asked me to go outside and step outside, and then uh, they said, uh, come back in. And and, uh, he said to me, um, Stephen Cannell said to me, uh, Robert, you are the star of the Black Sheep Squadron. And there I was with Colonel Boyington, and the colonel said, let's go across to the hotel, and we'll have a drink to celebrate. And uh, the next thing I knew, uh, we were there in the morning. We never left. (laughs) So the colonel and I had a rapport. I guess that's the right word. Next question, monsieur, s'il vous plaît. Um, Next question. Recently, I saw one of your TV movie dating from 1984. They are taken by Peter Hunt called uh, Charlie Hanna. Yes, yes. Uh, you, you you played alongside your, your two sons, Christian and Shane, but I noticed uh, the presence of Stephen Cannell in a small character. Remember you, this collaboration of the TV movie, and you, can you tell us something about... No, I can't. I don't remember the movie. Oh. I mean, you're going back too far, but uh, I'm glad I started with my sons, because one's a uh, contractor, yes. very successful builder out in Malibu. The other is a successful actor-writer. Um, and um, television producer, and uh, the father is uh, doing a show where uh, he now talks to uh, the audience that gave him the opportunity to have that career. And finally, Christophe, what is your next question, monsieur? My la- my last question. Um, I know that you have directed several, several episodes of the Black Chips Crescent uh, produced by Stephen Cannell. Uh, I just wanted to know how you came uh, the, to the realization of, of, of this series, and can you explain us, please? Well, I was with Colonel Boyington, and I am a pilot, and um, I, uh, yeah, I got to know the colonel. In 1982, I went uh, over uh, to visit the Marines, uh, and uh, it was a very traumatic experience, and uh, I did it, and it had its own rewards, and subsequently doing a show like that for me was 
probably very, very, very appropriate. Okay, Uncle Bob, uh, that, that's it for my phone call. Uh, you know the admiration that I have for you since my childhood, uh, and today um, I have the honor of your friendship. Uh, it proves uh, that uh, anything can happen in life. Well, I appreciate Thank that. Thank you for coming into my life, Uncle Bob. No, Christoph. you so deeply. Christoph, let me say this to you. I've yeah. said it before, but we had a trauma. We had a trauma, as you know, in uh, Europe, and so it delayed my trip that was supposed to take place uh, in yes. either uh, July or August. And because of that, uh, my uh, staff said you're not going uh, to France at this time. But when it I comes, yes. when it comes down, and it will, when it comes down. Uh, probably, I don't want to go in the winter, probably next spring or summer, I will return to France because uh, it's on my number one list of things to do uh, because uh, uh, the two countries I embrace the most is France and Spain. So I'm going to go to France and say hello to you and we'll go into a, a wonderful atmosphere in a hotel and have more champagne than we should. And then after that, I will go to Spain, and I will visit Marisol, the star of a movie I did when we were both young. Okay? Yes, Uncle Bob. Thank you for, for your friendship. Uh, I appreciate Thank you for your friendship. And all I can say is, do you understand French? C'est la vie. Merci beaucoup. Si, c'est la vie. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> okay. Have a good show, Uncle Bob. Take care. Uh, God bless you. Next week, uh, au revoir, mes amis. Bye. Au revoir, and God bless you. Thank you. Maybe See, that's now that's what the show's all about. If you're new to the show, that's what the show's all about. Uh, we struck up a great friendship with Christophe from France, and I will visit him. I will do exactly what I said, and I would have done it, but we had this trauma uh, in Europe now, and, you know, hopefully, and I'm waiting any moment for the trauma here in the United States. I pray to God, and I don't mean to say it, I do it, that this won't happen to us again. And when you make your decision to vote for your next president, um, put that uh, in, in your mind and say, who will protect us the most? I'm not going to endorse any uh, person because that's not what I do. That's not what this show is about. But you make that choice and uh, make sure the person you choose will protect us. Does that make sense? There you uh, go. Yeah. No, okay, good. Yeah. Now I'm finished. You're up now, boss. And then you comes back to me. When we come back, we're going to talk Since with Paul. Silencio, por favor. Yeah, we're going to talk with Paul in Connecticut when we come back here.